missionary family packed their bags and prepared for a new adventure in Albania. God called Delmar, Nati, and three-year-old Clara to serve in the 1040 window. We are both from Brazil. I think God placed in our hearts the desire to serve in a different place, in a different environment, in a place where we wouldn't be like comfortable, something that will challenge both our ministries. And we realized very soon some of the challenges that we will face preaching and the gospel, bringing the gospel here to this country. For years, Albania was a communist territory, banning religion and declaring it the world's first and only atheist state. Communism collapsed in 1990, but even today, religion doesn't seem to be a priority for most people. There are only about 120 Adventists out of nearly 3 million people living in Albania. Delmar, Nati, and Clara were assigned to serve in the city of Korcha at the country's first Adventist church built in 1994. The first year was especially difficult. Despite their efforts, there wasn't a single baptism or anyone interested in Bible studies. In the end of my first year, I was really discouraged because I couldn't see anything really big happening in the church. You know, I couldn't see anything really even changing in the church. We associate big things with good numbers, big numbers. So in my first year, I was trying to do my best. I was working a lot to do something big or something important, according to my understanding. At the peak of Del Mar's frustration, he received a call to pastor a large church in Brazil. This offer seemed to come at the perfect time, and he shared the exciting news with his wife. I came and talked to my wife. You know, we got a call to go back to Brazil. What do you think? We're not doing anything here anyway. Why we don't accept that and we just leave? And that's it. She looked to me. She said, do you think that we did everything that we could here in Albania? Do you, do you really think that it's time for us to leave this place? She said, I personally think that we should stay, that the Lord has something prepared for us here. And maybe He wants to, to teach us something here and he, he still wants to use us. So they declined the opportunity in Brazil and prayed about how God could use them in this challenging part of the world. Delmar and Nati noticed that there were a lot of kids in their neighborhood. Maybe this was a good place to start. And then we also realized that Clara could be a good missionary to them. Because every time that uh, we were coming to our home or leaving our home, and the kids, they saw Clara. So they start saying, hey, Clara, Clara, let's play, let's do this, let's do that. We prepare like a, a place to play volleyball. And then we say to them, come, let's play together. And, and this just happened naturally. And the kids start coming to church and they start coming every week to church, like two times a week, playing volleyball, playing with us. And in a few weeks, they knew me as a pastor, they knew Nati, they knew very well Clara. And we were so excited because now the church was full. They recruited help in the form of two Adventist volunteers from Brazil and community volunteers. One of the members, Angela, brought her friend Fation to church with her every few months. Fatio and I, we just connect as a friend and we start talking about God. We start studying the Bible together. I invite him to be part of our group and he just was excited. He was really engaged with us. And he said, you know, that's what I want. I want to participate. I want to help these kids. I want to serve this community. And in just a few weeks, he was already helping us with the kids. And the kids also loved him. All these activities just brought us together and I had the privilege to baptize Fation as my first baptism here in Albania. And I was so happy to see that the Lord was answering to our prayers. The love of Jesus touched Fation's heart and he now shares this with others. When we follow this Jesus method in other peoples in the community, I pray for the hearts to get warm and, and to follow Jesus. This church has seen many new faces in the past few months. Church members are connecting with the community through a global mission urban center of influence. Nati uses her gift of music to teach classes to the kids. They love learning to play the violin. The center also offers language courses and a health club with plans to branch out with more programs. 
So when you try something new and then you see that it's working, it already gives you like more hope. And then this also gave us motivation to try different things, not just, not one approach. Please pray for this ministry as it continues to grow and integrate into the community. And pray for missionary families like Delmar, Nati, and Clara, who are serving on the front lines of mission. When we were called to come as a missionary, I thought that I was ready to change the world. But it took maybe one year to realize that before I do anything, the Lord was trying to change me. Thank you for supporting the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. <laughs> okay, so you like to live in Albania? Sim? Sí?